guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kiara. If you're new here, if not, then welcome back. Today we're going to be unboxing the December 2019 BoxyCharm base box. Now, again, last month I believe they released a different tier of the BoxyCharm box, and that is going to be the Boxy Premium. That is not this box. This is just a regular base box. I feel like since the release of Boxy Premium that the base box value has gotten lower. Mind you, the price point is still there. I just think the quality is a little bit off. I feel like all the good products are going to the Boxy Premium boxes, which is understandable. They're more expensive, but I feel like before the release of Boxy Premium, we were getting some of those better products in just a regular base box. I don't know. Maybe I'm rambling. Hopefully somebody understands what I'm saying. I feel like we're kind of getting lesser products because we have the base box instead of the better products that are in the premium because it's more money. But before they released that, we used to get them in this price box anyway. And the price went up by about $5 last month. So I'm not really that happy with that. Um, so again, my eyeshadow is from this box, the brow kit. We have a facial oil in here. We have a couple of good things in here. So if you guys are interested in seeing how we got this look, then definitely keep watching. All right, again, so this is the December 2019 Boxy Charm. Opening her up, this is what she looks like. So, so we do have, again, quite a few products in here. The first thing I'm going to be popping into is this beautifully packaged brow bar by Rima. True Brow Brow Makeover Kit. Now, I believe this is a powder. Oh, even this is gold. That's super freaking pretty. I don't know if there's a shade. Is there a shade on this? Uh, this is in the shade light. Now, I am definitely dark haired if you guys can see my hair. So, the only thing that kind of sucks about this is I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to use this in my eyebrows look decent because you guys can see my hair is like a step up from black. And I got the shade light, which I'm assuming is for like blondes and like lighter brunettes. So I'm hoping that I can use this. Style your brows like a pro with the ultimate brow kit. Designed with two long wearing brow shades, brightening brow lift, sculpting gel mascara, angled brush, and flat brow brush. I'm going to dip into the darker shade in the middle because honestly the lighter shade is not going to do anything for me. And for the sake of the video, I am going to be using the brush that it came with. And again, I hope this is going to be dark enough. It would be nice if they included a spoolie in it. That is super light, um, but I am going to try to make it work. Yeah, this is really like an auburny color and I would be like a deep brown. Okay, so the brush that they sent is super uncomfortable because it is so tiny. Also, it just kind of fell apart. So it's super cheaply made. But little brushes like this that come in things normally are. So I'm going to hop in with this, which is a Morphe E29, which is a spoolie on one end and an angled brush on the other. I am having to go over the same area multiple times to get any type of actual like pigment through my brows. Maybe because it's too light for me. Maybe if it was a darker color, I wouldn't have to be spending this much time trying to place the product to actually get color out of it. Um, but I am kind of struggling a little bit. Okay, as you guys can see, this color is not working for me. It has like a reddish coppery undertone, which is not, it's not my shade. Um, I don't even know if I would really like this if this was in my color because I am having to try quite hard to actually get pigment to be ran through my brows. I'm going to go ahead now and, and go with this creamy color, which again, I think is going to be way too light for me, but for the sake of this video, we are going to use it. I think I'm going to use it on the bottom of my brows to clean them up instead of the top just because I feel like I would mess up my foundation if I were to go in with this color. I'm going to go in with a super tiny brush and just clean up underneath like so again this brush is super super uncomfortable I'm just going to drag this down and because there's really no hope for my brows at this point I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in with my finger I'm gonna go ahead and hop in now with a clear brow gel 
that is what the spoolie looks like. I don't know what's with brow gels and always having such thick spoolies. I feel like they should have like thinner spoolies, but that's just my personal opinion. I'm going to brush my brows up at the beginning and then over. The brow gel is the only thing that I actually kind of like out of this kit. The brow gel is actually nice. Um, if they sold just the brow gel, maybe I would buy that, but I wouldn't see myself actually purchasing this kit. Moving along to the next thing that we have in here, we got a little mini storybook palette. Inspired by the classic tale, the storybook mini palette was created exclusively for BoxyCharm and it is as beautiful on the inside as it is on the outside. We've combined stunning metallics and velvety matte eyeshadows to help you create your happily ever after look. This palette retails for $35 and it was again created exclusively for BoxyCharm so I don't know if you can actually purchase this palette. I don't really even know what kind of look we're going to go for just because I feel like these eyeshadows are cohesive but not super cohesive. Alright, now that my eyeballs are primed, I'm going to go in with Nottingham which is this color right here and pretty much pack that all over my lid because it's pretty much the identical color to my skin tone. I am going to put that all over just to set my primer but I am going to focus that a little bit on the outer to see if I can get it to build up just to be a little bit darker. Now we're going to go in with this green color right here. It is called Merry Men and it is just a matte green. There is quite a bit of fallout with these. I'm going to dust that off and I guess I'm going to pop this in my crease. I don't ever play with color, especially green. So let's hope that I'm not fucking up. Let's just see where this takes us. And just put this right here. Just like so. Definitely butter if you were if you pack and then blend. So we're gonna pack on the color like so. And then we're going to try to blend that out into the crease. Just like this. So this is what we're looking like. I'm going to go in and try to pretty much marry these together. Um, so just going in right along this edge and blending that into the gray a little bit better. Alright, I know it looks really funky right now. I'm going to go in with Forest, which is this super deep brown color. Almost a black, but it's definitely brown. And focus that just right here so oh that's definitely actually a black we're just going to focus that right there just to deepen up this outer edge a little bit and again going in and blending that out all right i'm stamping back into nottingham which is that same gray color and buffing it into the edges of this black which what I thought was brown but it's definitely black. I'm going to go back in now and put down more of that green color because we definitely lost it. Now I'm going to go in and pick up Robin Hood which is this shimmery emerald green color which is freaking beautiful and focus that on the inner portion and then just dragging that along the green. I really should have done my face last because the fallout on these is pretty intense. Okay, brush isn't doing justice. I'm going to go in with my finger. It's normally how most shimmers apply the best. And focus that right in there. The shimmer is not really layering amazingly with the already put shadow underneath. Um, had I gone in like on dry skin without all the green underneath, it may have applied a little bit better. But it's honestly not applying that well. 
like at all. It's kind of just staying on my fingers and not tapping out, it's not rubbing out, it's not really doing anything. I'm gonna try to go in, pick some up, and wet my brush and see if wetting my brush gets it to stick a little bit better. Don't hate it, I don't love it. I'm going to work on blending out these edges a little bit more, cleaning out my inner corner, and I'm going to clean up the lower bit of it, and then we're gonna smoke out the bottom. I'll be right back. Okay, so I cleaned it up. Honestly, when in doubt, if you don't like the way that the eyeshadow is like smudging out, you can always just take foundation on an angled brush and just clean it up. And honestly, this is pretty much my biggest tip. Um, honestly, I can't really work with too much in this palette except for these colors. So I'm pretty much taking this color right here and pretty much just like buffing it out and bringing it all up to my eyebrow just because I feel like it is softening up that black quite a bit. And it's like just, I don't know, personally, I feel like it's cleaning it up a little bit. It's intensifying it but it's making it look a little bit better and I'm bringing that like three quarters of the way in so just like this so I'm gonna finish with this I'm going to throw on some lashes I don't think I'm gonna put line around just because it is so dramatic I just don't really feel like I need it anymore like drama so I'm going to finish just kind of packing this on we are gonna put on like a highlight color I don't have one in here but we are gonna grab one and after I put on my lashes, I will be right back. Okay, when in doubt, lash it out. Got my lashes on. So I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out my lower lash line. I don't know if I wanna go in with the green color. Yeah, we're gonna go in with green. So first of all, I'm going to go in with the green color on a smudger brush and bring this down. I'm not gonna go in very, very lightly with that dark brown color, just on the outer edge. All right, so that's gonna get as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna go in to the next thing in our box and that is this. This is the Kayate Marbled Light Blushing Illuminator. Add a radiant flush of color to your complexion with Marbled Light Illuminating Blush. Formulated without talc, this lightweight, buildable formula has a blend of matte pigments with finely milled illuminating particles. So I guess this is actually a blush and this retails for $26. I am going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Oh, that's actually super freaking pretty. So it is super sheer, but it does say that it's buildable. I'm gonna go in with a brush, pick up a little bit of that, and put that where I would normally put blush. It is super pretty. I wouldn't say it's illuminating though. I would say that it's just like a really sheer blush in all honesty. You guys, this, Green is all over the side of my nose and I look just dirty. So, yeah. A lot of fallout on the screen. So I would definitely say that this blush is pretty. Um, I wouldn't say it's illuminating though. I don't think it really illuminates. This is in the shade Halo, by the way. Um, I think it's just like any other standard blush. I don't really see like a sheen to it. It does have like, again, that really pretty like marbling in it, but I don't really see this giving me too much sheen. I'm about to go in with so much blush. Yeah, kind of just like a regular blush. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and we'll be right back for the last two products in this box that are not makeup products. Okay, so my face is done. We're gonna move on to the last two products that are in this box. So we have this right here, which is the Elements Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. Now, when I got the option to pick what I wanted in my box, there was like an option of one thing or the other. I said just pick for me because I wasn't super excited about this box. A luxurious and lightweight facial oil infused with a precious trio of rose extracts to help smooth the look of fine lines and wrinkles, leaving the skin with a luminous glow. This is just a facial oil. Um, I am not a fan of facial oils. I have oily skin. Sometimes like oils work for me, sometimes products don't. Also, this has an extremely, extreme rose scent to it, and I'm not really a fan of heavily scented products, even if they are natural like rose. Um, I don't know if I'll use this, but I do see myself kind of giving this away. Um, but this did come in the box. I did just want to show you guys, and this retails for set. This retails for $79. Maybe I'll give this a try. 
The box says including sensitive skin, so I may give this a try. I will keep you guys updated if I do give it a try. All right, moving in to the last but not least thing. This is a brush cleaner and the brand is called Aesthetica cleaner and conditioner specifically formulated to effectively remove accumulated makeup and dirt from your cherished makeup tools now this does only retail for $12 and this is a really decent size product I'm actually super excited about this because I do need makeup brush cleaner I normally use baby shampoo but I wanted to venture out and try one of these it does smell the best way I can explain it is um, medicinal I feel like it kind of smells like, like medicine or like earthy that's the best way I can explain this all right guys that is it for today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed this video subscription box unboxings and try-ons are honestly one of my favorite videos that I do here I am a little bit disappointed with the boxycharm video this month again like I mentioned in the beginning of this video I feel like with them releasing boxycharm premium that these boxes are kind of getting just not as great as they used to be don't get me wrong I really do like all the products that came in here. I don't think I'll be using the brow kit that often. I do think that Storybook Cosmetics does have good quality eyeshadows, but with this color scheme in here, this is not something that I'm going to reach for often at all. I'll probably end up giving this away. But again, everything in here I do think holds a very high value and I do think it was a good box. I just don't think that the BoxyCharm boxes are as good as they used to be, especially with this being a December box. Normally subscription boxes in the month of December are amazing. And I'm kind of just feeling like this box is just a little bit lackluster so if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button remember to always be a beautiful potato on the inside and the out and i'll see you guys next time bye guys this video is now over and i just realized and i never blended my lashes with this eye and it's gonna drive me nuts while editing this because these lashes are still green